For over a decade, one of our display windows looked like this. But nothing lasts forever. See this Fanguli Tribute window at Alternate Reality. Coming right up is Indie News number 150. It's going to be an all Valiant and more update. We're going to talk about Valiant Comics. It's paying royalties to a bunch of creators, and they don't even have to. They're doing it because they're swell. Also, we're going to talk about the five-page backup stories Valiant's going to put in the backs of all their books this coming July, which is going to explain a little bit about hardcore. Then we're going to jump over to Dynamite Comics. Don McGregor has an issue about Lady Rawhide, because they're doing an issue of Lady Rawhide. And we're going to wrap it all up with someone who signed an exclusive with Boom Comics. All that and more coming right up. Here at Alternate Reality, for every $50 you ring up over there on the register, we're going to give you one of these. An Alternate Reality Back Issue Buck. Now, each Back Issue Buck is good for $5 worth of either boxed back issues, clearance comics, or variant cover sets. Now, these are good forever. They never expire. And you can either use them one at a time or bank them all up and come in and do a shopping spree. That's just another way that your money works harder here at Alternate Reality. The Indie Alley sure ain't for bowling. That's for any comic book news. We used to be relentless, now we're swimming in relent. <laughs> Independent comic book news, episode 150, Mask of the Gas Blaster. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... Indie News! Indie News! Yay! Which is coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Green. You don't believe me? Check out the sign! Is there a bump sleeping on that sign? <laughs> oh, that's a whole other story. That's the, the mayor. That's a whole other story. The, the fire department and two ambulances were literally here the other day. I because a, there's a bum, true story, because a bum was over there, they live, they congregate over there, was over there drinking mouthwash. <laughs> And he got real sick. Hey, he couldn't afford the really good booze. You know how tough that is? But and he that, didn't want any big top beer, so that's what he had to choose. But you, but you know, we're here. Alternate reality is here with the indie news. And our first story up, and by the way, all my indie, all my indie comics are 15% yeah, every day for everyone, including my Valiant comics. Our first story up involves Valiant, and they'd offered to pay royalties, which they don't have to pay to who? Kevin McGuire, Christopher Priest, Mark Bright, and other creators who work for Acclaim which was valiant before they all went belly up, yeah. even though they're not obligated to do so. Kevin McGuire was quite annoyed about the fact that the new owners of Valiant owned the Trinity Angels and didn't have to pay him a dime. Yeah. Uh, because they had a deal way back then with Acclaim which said if they didn't do anything with the characters within three or four months after Acclaim went belly up, their yeah. rights would go back to the creators. Well, that never happened. So it's nice for Acclaim to just it's nice do the right thing and to look, we'll give you guys royalty payments, we're going to do reprints, we're, we'll do something nice for you because the guys who you used to work for were a bunch of jerks. Now, you think they're doing this just to be nice, or you think they're doing this to head off a lawsuit? Uh, <laughs> I think they're doing it just to be nice. It's actually, McGuire, McGuire, went to, uh, McGuire went to a convention, and he talked to the guy in, in, in Valley, and he went, yeah, it kind of sucks, and, you know, but our contract said Yeah, you know, we're not getting anything. Well, their contract said specifically that they, they, they weren't obligated to pay them royalties for anything. Right. So they're just doing it just to do the right thing. Because the but contract says... Look no. at that contract would be a little gray area. Well, yeah. it could be. You know, guys good. don't just create them now and just say, okay, I'll walk away. Well, they don't do that. Well, really think about it. If they printed up a Trinity Angels trade right now, who the hell would buy well, it? Well, that's, that's <laughs> another side of the story. Kevin McGuire is not the Kevin McGuire he used to be. Oh, well, he was the not Kevin McGuire. Not that wrong with Kevin McGuire's art. I love Kevin McGuire's art. But this is not 1986 anymore, and Justice League, Justice League is not one is coming out. Trinity Angels, Trinity Angels is one of the lamest concepts that Clinton did. It's pretty old. Yeah, but it's still possible it to make a movie really out of nice. it. really nice. See how we're done. Well, pretty art. Yes, pretty art and chicks with uh, big movers. Meanwhile, this July, Valiant will be including a five-page backup entitled... Who will lead the hardcore from the team, the Skull Kickers team of Jim Zub and Edward Huang? Because the hardcore back... They're going to get their own book. Well, that'll be another news story we'll get to. We don't want to get to it right now because it's a pretty big story. And so someone has to run the team, and they're going to use five-page backups in every Valiant book in July. Across the board. And when it's all over, you'll go, oh, they're running the team. There you go. Meanwhile, over at Dynamite, because this is a Valiant and more update, over at Dynamite, Lady Rawhide is coming back from the Zorro universe. Dynamite's so the Lady Rawhide character involving... This character was created by Don McGregor when he was working for whatever the hell it was in one jar before that point. I don't even remember the name of that company. For those of you who don't remember Lady Rawhide, just think red leather, bustier. And a whip. And a, with, with a whip 
and high heels in the old west and it makes no sense but really who needs it to make it sense looks so she nice. cook. Yeah, and she could cook. you have a red leather bustier which is which is sewn up the front so it's split open and she has a whip and high heels what more do you need and i mean how much of an explanation do you really need for this? But well, that too yeah but don mcgregor created the character when he's working for zaro productions thanks don uh and when diamond announced they're doing a lady rawhead series no one bothered to inform don mcgregor wow <laughs> Willie, really? you're doing a series involving a character I created. I hope it's good. I hope it's good, but you, it, it, don't you have to pay me for this? Yeah, aren't I, am I getting any money? <laughs> don't, aren't I supposed to be paid for this as I created the character? Now, Diamond President Nick Berucci says, look, Zaro Productions is supposed to have told him that stuff about all this stuff. And if they want, he said, he's more than willing to talk to McGregor about some kind of agreement, but as far as them paying Don McGregor for doing Lady Rawhide, that's Zaro Productions' checkbook that has to come out of it, not Dynamite. <laughs> And our last rep involves Paul Jenkins, who has signed an exclusive where? Boom of all places. Boom goes the dynamite. This is got he's the first writer or first creative person I've ever heard of that signed an exclusive with Boom because he wants to do for at least a little period of time just creative creator on counters. And I guess if you look boom treated him nicely. So good. Boom. Okay. And that's it. We're done with finish her out of here. We've got no more time for the drunks to drive by here in Mount Creek. Well, not that was, we don't appreciate it. At least he was oh, not that we, with a seatbelt. Not that we don't appreciate the hell out of him. He was wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> but if you want to find out more news about the stories we just did or other stories, Bo, where do they go? Sarah, let them know. www.milesonatreality.com It's where dreams come true, posthumously. Go to the store's website. Check out all of Bo's news. And until next time, this is Conquick Man. You know, that man was actually the mayor of Mount Greenwood. Yes, the mayor of Mount Greenwood, which, like I said, that sign right there. Until next time. Bye. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>